Andy Fry here. I want to show you quickly how to use our online learning system at Pronto Tax School. And all the courses work pretty much the same. So we're going to go into the 20 hour CTEC course as an example. You can have a getting started quiz at the beginning of each uh, course, which kind of confirms that you understand like what the course uh, topic is and how to use the system, kind of some housekeeping items. You go through that, complete it. And the key thing with our system is to complete a course, every lesson needs to have this little check mark here uh, indicating that it is complete. And so that's the biggest thing as you go through the course is just to make sure that you get a check mark on each item. And then you're just going to go from item to item, lesson to lesson, clicking continue, right? And then we have a mix of PDF, video training, and then also questions, so interactive questions. Each item um, is a little bit different as far as how you complete it. So the textbook, clicking this button here, complete and continue, is going to give you a check mark. Before we do that, I do want to show you one thing that's very important on our system to have a great experience is that we put a lot of links um, in our courses so that you can go find more information about different things that you might be more interested in, right? So if you just click on the link regular, it's going to open up in the same window. So what you need to do is press control and then click the link to open up a new window, okay? So you don't lose your place in the textbook. And uh, if you're on a Mac, that will be command and then click the link. So let me just show you real quick how that will work. Okay, so this, let's say you were interested in that topic, right? Then you're going to go get more info. So when you're using the textbook, just remember, put control, or if you're on a Mac, uh, command, and then click the link to open in a new window, all right? Again, you're just going to go through, right? Hey, I looked at that. I read it. On these review questions, if it says review questions, that means you do not need to get uh, the answers correct. So you can just go through, right, and you can confirm it's going to um, give you the answer explanation, right? So you don't need to worry about getting it correct. This review quiz and I got 0% correct, um, but I can still go and I can still earn a check mark uh, next to that section, right? Now contrast that with an exam and you'll see instructions here. You need to get 70% correct to actually um, you know, get the check mark on that section, right? So you wanna take a little bit more time here. Uh, make sure that you take a look at how to search within the textbook. Uh, for the answers because all the answers are in the textbook and it's an open book exam. And then again, you want to press control and then start the exam in a separate window. Okay, so you're going to go over here's your exam. You're going to just start going through that. And what I like to do is have in the other window, you have the textbook for that section. So when you go in here, you can put in control F and that's going to give you a little search box. So let's say you want to search for child tax credit. You want to spell it correctly. It's going to take you to that, right? So you have the assessment open or the exam open and you're going through it. You want to search in the textbook at the same time to get all the answers. All right. And also want to show you um, how to download of the chapter for your own records. You can just go up to this little icon here, download. And then you can do save as, and you can save it as a PDF uh, on your computer. Something we added based on requests from our users, which is this review later button. So if you go through and you know most of the exam answers, but you want to mark some to go over later, you just click this button and it'll bring it up at the end of the exam. All right, so let me see if I can pass this exam. Hopefully I can. I'm going to go to finished, confirm. And then this is going to give me my score. So I barely pass. So we need 70% to pass. You do have the option to review results right here. And it will show you which questions that you got wrong. And it will give you the, ex the explanation only if you pass the exam. And that's actually a, um, an IRS requirement on that part of it. All right. And then you just go to reach this page. You're going to get a little no notification. Correct. Congratulations you passed and then that is going to give you that check mark that you need all right so a couple of the courses might be slightly different than this but this is basically how it works you just take it step by step keep getting your check marks thanks a lot hope you enjoy the system